Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series where I take a Smurf account for a account never played rank before and show you the adventure to Diamond. We return Plat 2, 100 LP in their promo to Platinum 1. It kind of feels like a deja vu that we've been here before. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll have a good game. Um, I did point out that we're with Saitama. Uh, so if you are an anime fan, then you know, one punch for life. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have a good game. I'm thinking of playing Vladimir because again, he's been a requested pick uh, for a while. Ooh. This person's hovering. This person may pick. Whoa! In the Twitch chat, Phoenix uh, Kiloa comes with a 5,000 bit Twitch donation. Um, with a bit donation. I don't know exactly how much that does equate to, but I think it's a pretty, like, a decent amount. So thank you very much, my friend. Um, if you want to ask for a champion after this episode, feel free. But, uh, yeah. Uh, right, so we're gonna play Vlad. Uh, I, Vlad's an okay blind pick, I'm pretty sure. Um, so there are two playstyles that I can tell on Vladimir nowadays. There are some people that do Predator, uh, but the vast majority of people still seem to do the Spellbook, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I think I'm going to do Spellbook with Teleport as my primary... Um, I'm going to do it with my primary um, thingy. So just to explain how the new Spellbook works, because it is a little bit weird. Uh, basically, you get whatever runes you go into the game that's basically your like standard runes uh so the, the game will remember that but when you get to a certain point in the game which i think is about six minutes or something like that um eventually you'll get to the point that you can swap one of your runes and you swap it while you're in game um while you're you know not at base and you can swap it and then you can use that new rune and then in like 10 seconds later your old rune can come back so it's like it's a really like crazy way and uh, you've probably seen some youtube videos that people have had like double flashes it's why a moo moo jungles made a little bit of a comeback like it's it's actually pretty decent so i kind of like it and okay some of the spells sorry i said runes it's still confusing but yeah it's re it's really cool um so yeah it's i'd recommend it it's funny as hell but anyway that's gonna be it um we're gonna get into loading screen team comp wise the enemy team have a lot more let's say solo queue team comp uh, we have a bit more of a standard team comp uh, but let's get into it we're playing vladimir in the mid lane all right, we're to loading screen, so we're going to break down the stats. So it looks to be like a Platinum 1, Diamondish game. So you've got Plat 1, Diamond 5, Plat 2 is myself, Diamond 5, Plat 2 in promo to Plat 1. Diamond 5, Diamond 5, uh, no, Diamond 4, Diamond 5, Plat 1, Plat 2, Plat 1. Negative win rates on two of the enemy, negative win rate on my graves. As for champion experience, he's never played Shaker, which is a little bit weird. Because Shaker is one of those types of champs that only, like, mains or one tricks usually play. Uh, so you've got a Zoe kind of main like half of her games are on one champion which is zoe and again we played diana a few days ago diana was amazing versus zoe i think vladimir is not bad because i think you can avoid a lot of her damage uh my team negative win rate in 85 games that's pretty bad um and then like low experience lower experience on everybody else so again there's not really anybody i'm scared of on the enemy team like this riven is in the clan Exile, which obviously is a Riven clan tag, but only has got a 50% win rate. So it's not like, again, that's scary. So yeah, I don't know. This game should be interesting. I think it's going to kind of depend on which team snowballs because both team comps have a really big like Wombo, I think. Or like Shaco could assassinate people easily, especially like a Jinx or a Nami that's very immobile. Uh, so without much further ado, let's get into it where we're going to be playing Vladimir in the mid lane. Alright, we're on the game today, we're playing Vladimir in the mid lane again. We're against a Zoe who's obviously running Ignite, so there is a triple Ignite on the enemy team. Uh, let's just ping that so everybody's aware. Uh, which is obviously very aggressive, and what it doesn't surprise me is that I think for them to win, they need to snowball. I don't think they win in late game, unless like one of us makes a massive mistake. Because um, he kind of should fall off-ish. She, I, Zoe's still scary. Riven should fall off when we're grouping. And obviously, Trisana is still good. But I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Uh, I don't know if there's any duo cues or anything like that in today's game. But, um, yeah. Okay, so apparently the first item that some people are rushing on Vladimir is this. Even though it gives mana, it does seem to be a rush item on him. Which I guess is because of Burst. Because I know a lot of... Oh, it's, well, it's either Shirelia's or it's that. I think I personally will go Shirelia Rush. Because I think I like it. I like the idea of it better. Um, so this item I'll be rushing first. And then after this item, then this. So it's, these are my two first items. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Um, 
I would think, because again, in this series, we're kind of used to getting camped a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get camped this game because I think it's a relatively pointless lane for a Shaco 2 camp. Because uh, it's not a guaranteed kill when I have W and stuff. But that's just me. Again, I could be wrong. You never know. Ugh, Zoe. Wonderful. Wham. Wham. Oh, damn. I thought that would do a lot more damage. Apparently not. Okay. Uh, punk. Tempted to take W level 2, which I think I'm going to do, just in case that level 2 cheese gank comes. Because uh, you never know. Like, you know, they've got a double ignite, so that's a very strong early game pressure. Decent damage. But I did tank minions there, which definitely made me lose the trade. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, you have to remember, I've got teleport, she doesn't, so I do not mind... Wow. I do not mind um, getting poked out and using teleport to come back. Well, obviously, she can't do that. But uh, yeah, my bot lane just lost a 2v2 straight up. No jungle, uh, no jungle pressure at all. So that's like pretty much as bad of a situation it can be. Yeah, that just happened. So that's not good. Um... So obviously something very went wrong there, or very much went wrong there. Deliciously. Nice roam by Aurelia. She gets doubles? Yep, she got doubles. I didn't get anything for it, which is annoying. But Zoe didn't get anything for it either. What? Okay. So like I've said for ages and ages, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know I've been saying this, is when you get a kill, like a first blood or something, go back. Because look what just happened. So my team got double killed, which that in higher rating, that should actually mean the lane is over. Well, guess what? The enemy team didn't go back, so they didn't get an item advantage. So technically they are actually were weaker than my team. Because my team did obviously go back and buy. Oh my god, I hate Zoe. <laughs> I really hate this champion. <laughs> ah! Her damage is just crazy high. Like, she didn't even hit her sleep then, and she just still went, like, bursting me from half health. Level four? <sighs> I hate that champion. I know I have a bias to hating her, but I just... I just absolutely detest <laughs> that champion. Uh, okay. I think I W'd too. Well, I W'd, well, I don't know. Because I'm saying that, like, I'm, I'm doubting myself. But I W'd so I didn't get slept. But if I got slept, I was dead anyway. So I don't know. I think I was just dead. Maybe I just should have flashed away. Yeah, that was probably the way that I would have been okay. Flash away instead of trying to W. Okay. Today I learn. Okay. Again, you've got to remember that this guy is not experienced on Shaco at all. So he probably isn't exactly going to know when to gank and that type of thing. Wait. See what I mean? Like. <laughs> balanced. <laughs> level 5. <laughs> She's level 5. Just nearly straight up kills me. Jesus. Nice. I'm absolutely livid. Oh, he nearly went into the sleep. Ugh. She was trying to ignite me then. I think I yeah, I need to go back. Okay. You know, Diana is very good. Like, a champion... Basically, the way you beat Zoe is you one-shot her before she one-shots you. Um, in essence. Which, again, is a bit odd, but it's the best way to beat her. Vladimir obviously doesn't really do that, but I will say, I think I will be fine later. Like, I, th it's annoying this lane phase, because there's just not a lot I think I can do at the moment. But I think I'll be fine later when I get a couple items and get a bit more beefiness. Because you have to remember, Vladimir, when he builds AP, he gets health. 
And when he builds health, he gets AP. So that's why you've always like see Vladimir with decent AP, but also a lot of health. Um, so I think I'll be fine. I just need to get to that stage. That's Shaco going bot lane, I'd imagine. If, if Tristan is like trying to go there, Shaco would go yeah. behind them. Oh, Let it all out. my nose is still full. Uh, so yeah, the Rally's doing it really good. Uh, she's killed Riven twice. I think once Graves was there. She's definitely killed her once solo. <laughs> I've got you. Dodge that. Under my Another solo kill. Hell yeah, what well a Rampage. Rampage. Okay, let's swap this for Ignite. Swain is kind of a better version of Vlad-ish. Uh, there's definitely some advantages that Swain has that Vlad doesn't nowadays. But, oh, has he kind of... I, I do think Vlad still has a little bit of a place. Oh, really? I'm dead. There's just, I just don't out-damage her at the moment. She does just do too much damage. Wow. God, what happened then? Good bubble. Double bubble. Uh, they, I don't think they should go for it. Damn. That Trist. She should die for that, no? No. Damn. Yeah, the Zoe, you could say she's a good Zoe, but like in sheer raw damage, I just can't do anything at the moment. Like, it doesn't even matter when I try to sleep. Because she'll just kill me after I come out. Or, like, uh, she'll just kill me after my W. So it just doesn't... There's just no point even trying to W her damage. It's all about trying to dodge it. Which, again, isn't the easiest thing. But we'll try. Again, from a game design standpoint... Like, I know people think I'm just complaining here. But at least I'm consistent. I've said that she has bad game design from the since the start of her champion. So... It's not like I'm just saying it because I'm getting beat. No, I'm, I, I'm, I even said it. Wow. I even said it when I was playing her. So. Damn, she got a dragon. Don't know how Riven turned around and killed her. After obviously pretty much the whole lane phase the Aurelia has been owning. So obviously something went wrong. Maybe like Aurelia missed her ultimate. That probably could have made that happen. If Graves gets that kill, that's not that bad though. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, Zoe got buffed a little bit again. <clears throat> she does. Ah, she's dead here. Hell yeah, we killed her. Woo! Why is she spam pinging? Oh, they're lane swapping. Okay. Okay, I just need to get to the point that I can, th like, I can basically survive her damage. I think. Because I think I can. <coughs> <coughs> I also think that the enemy team are basically going to sacrifice this Riven's lane phase uh, for the Tristanas, because the Tristana is currently 6 and 1. Oh, she got disarmed. God, that Tristana just loves jumping into tower. Shaco's, oh, 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 again, not done anything yet. I guess I'll go bot lane. I've got you under my I get Shirelias, which is nice. No. I don't want to use Shirelius for a cannon minion. Wow, he killed him. Hopefully he doesn't die to Zoe. Oh, Zoe's there. Okay, never mind. Riven's in mid. Uh, that tower's gone. Alright, let's go Ghost. Oh, 
I don't know if we can kill her. Okay, top lane. Damn. I'm guess did Riven flash then? I don't know. Maybe. Let's push that in. Okay. I'm gonna roam. Oh, that, that Tristana was gonna do it again. This Tristana loves just jumping in like crazy. They should all die. Why is she focusing on Lulu? Okay, it worked, but holy moly. Woo! She shouldn't be focusing on Lulu when a Trisana was still bashing her head in. Yeah, this you can tell this Shaco just isn't very uh, used to Shaco. So like I said earlier, like, don't play, like, don't play champs that you don't know. And I know I'm a contradiction to this rule, and I'm very much aware of that. Um... But yeah, this Shaco is a champion that only like mains play for a reason. It's not just something that you should just randomly pick up. Um, and again, the reason why I say I'm a contradiction to the rule and I'm fully aware I am, I'm a YouTuber making a series that's all about playing as much as I possibly can to get to Diamond. That's not you, that's not this person, so that's kind of why I say it. And I know some people won't like that answer, but that's just the way that it is. Um, but yeah. We're slowly getting strength. Unfortunately, we've got four assists. If a couple more of those assists were kills, that would be nice. But whatever. Uh, Graves did just die to Zoe. So I presume he thought he could fight her and then probably just got one shot or something. And I will say there are some people in the Diana episode being all like Moni that going, you know, you're complaining about Zoe. You look at Diana's one shotting, etc. The difference is that Diana has to put herself at risk on every single time she goes for it. She's melee. That's not Zoe. Um, Zoe doesn't need to risk herself, like, basically at all. This Riven is beating this Aurelia now in a 1v1. No idea how. Like, look at the strength difference, and she's the Aurelia is losing. Oh my god, pathing. Wow, my pathing really screwed me up then. But this Tristana, I will say, her playstyle may bite her in the butt in late game. We know her playstyle is jump in whenever she can. If she does that in late game, well, you'll jump on her face, so she'll die. Wow, she's a lot. Oh, I didn't get the Q off. Should be a double kill. Okay, worth. Again, I'm getting assists, not kills. That was so close once again. My Q was literally on its way back to get me to give me life from the Lulu, and I died in that time. Shaco will do it. One thing you can guarantee, because <clears throat> this Shaco is basically doing nothing this game, the one thing that he'll actually do is he'll do the dragons. He'll do the dragons. He's doing it right now. Hold oh yeah. That's the real one. The back one's the real one. My god. Again, this isn't difficult, but whatever. Again, you know because this Shaco isn't doing anything, the one thing he'll do is objectives. Damn it. That is a free infernal. The bot lane really should have moved there a lot quicker. They were being way too lazy. I just noticed I made a mistake then. I pulled because I was like, I need to get there. But then I realized, wait, my pool isn't going to save her because I go immune. Oops. But thankfully she didn't die. So much damage. Okay, she ignited me as well. Go, Graves! Yeah! I didn't get an assist. Damn. 
Auto. You've got red buff. Auto. Keep auto hitting. You've got that. You've got that. You've got that. You've got that. Oh, you shouldn't have eat that way, though. Close. Real close. Auto. Auto. Ugh. Jinx really should not be pressing W in the middle of an auto attack fight. It doesn't do as much damage. I don't know why Graves is there. Killer Grump. Killer. Why is Grump not aggroing her? She's the closest target. What? Isn't that how Grump's supposed to work? Wait, what? Isn't that just me? That Grump is like jungle camps are supposed to attack the closest target. That's why I aggroed the Grump. No? Oh, man. I thought, I, I thought that was going to be good. Huh. Really confused why it didn't. That's annoying. I think we'll win this game. <clears throat> yeah, like the Twitch chat doesn't know either. Hmm. Honestly, have no idea. Because I, I, I legit thought that that's what the, how jungle camps react. Wait, I'm buying way too much cooldown reduction. Um. Bonk. Oh, they're doing that. And the Trist, again, the Trist, we know her playstyle. As soon as Aurelia shows, she'll jump on the Aurelia. Which, again, we can use to our favor in mid-late game. Most definitely. Wow, I'm dead. I hope she dies for that, but wow. She did die for it, but I don't know if they win the team fight. Jinx isn't even there yet. Yeah, we lose. Wow. That Tristana's damage just absolutely obliterated me. She is a little bit fed. I'm going to say no, because again, we could play that better. I wasn't expecting to basically get one shot by a one Tristana rotation, but I did. Wow. That was uh, kind of crazy. Oh, my nose. Yeah, if we have a better team fight than that, that we're like we can actually use our AoE abilities at the start of the fight, I think we'll be okay. Die. Oh, she still killed me. <laughs> Tristana's damage. But these two's damage is nuts. Again, so that also means if we take care of them, we probably win the game. And it's not like we're lacking. We do have a lot of damage. Like, Jinx is doing a lot of damage too. Surpri I'm probably doing surprising damage because I, you know, just killed Zoe. So we, we all we need to do this game, it's a situational game of whoever gets their damage off first. Which is going to be interesting. It needs to be us. But yeah, it, like, if what's well, another big thing, if Aurelia gets her ultimate off in the middle of a team fight and she disarms, like, three of them, like, they're in the, the diamond of the blades, that's also huge too. So, that's, we can definitely win this game. It's just difficult because of how fed some people are. Let's go exhaust. The annoying thing is too, obviously, because the Shaco hasn't done anything this game. The one thing he has done is like get objectives, and one of those objectives obviously is Infernal. She'll jump. Oh my god. We know her playstyle, but people keep going for it, man. We like this whole again. This if this was higher diamond, yes. Okay, one kill. If this was higher diamond, this game would be free. Because this Trisana is playing the exact same way the whole game. It's predictable that she's going to jump whenever she can. But people kind of forget about it or they just don't realize it. Because the Graves, I don't think, expected that. Like, again, the Graves obviously died without ult. The Nami died without using ult. I don't think they expected it. Yet, she's done it the entire game. 
Oh, damn. All we've got to do is counter that jump because we know it's coming. Like, preemptively use Nami ult. That's a way to do it. If you use Nami ult the moment you basically see Tristana, she'll probably just go straight into the ult because she's going to jump. Oh, man. Oh. We just need one big fight. One big fight and we win. Like, even though, again, Renia just killed Riven in a 1v1, this is the type of game that I really wish Renia was grouping, not going in a 1v1. Because the 1v1 isn't winning this game. We're not going to get it. Nope. Yeah, you can't. You got zero vision. My cup is half empty. Damn. Would be nice to kill that Riven there. Which again does kind of say to me there's potentially a uh, ward somewhere in our jungle because like the Riven knew that we were coming. I think Tristana did another jump then. Uh oh, Graves is alone. We're st way too alone, man. Relia goes alone and tries to kill the Trist. Graves goes over because he gets engaged on a really bad time. We're never, we're never together. This is really annoying. Man. Again, I do think this game is winnable too. Uh, by Riley. Yeah, she did the jump again. Literally, as, as I said, she's done the same thing the entire game. Never mind. Uh, that's annoying. So that's first promo game. Damn, I need like one shot to shake her. Alright, first promo game. And basically the Tristana won that by herself. Holy moly. And again, the, the annoying thing for me, and again, I, I know I can play a lot better. I fully admit that. There is definitely things in that game that I played wrong. Like dying to Zoe a couple times, that was just bad. I, pff, there's not much counterplay to it, apart from like dodging everything. Because uh, I just didn't have the, the, the sheer damage to beat her. But uh, yeah, the, the again, like I said, if it was a higher diamond game, we probably would have won this easily. Because the Tristana's playstyle did not change the entire game. That all she did is she saw somebody jumped on them every single time, which is you can counter it. Like the Nami a lot of the time was dying when she still had ult up. So all you know, oh, there's Tristana. She's about to jump. I'm pressing ult now. Early. Press it early. It doesn't matter because her playstyle would probably have just got owned by it. Uh, but yeah, that didn't happen. So again, it's annoying, but they happen. It's a realistic thing. Uh, so we got to win the next two games, which is fine. But yeah, we had a really bad performance. Three, eight, nine. Again, if we some of those assists turned into kills, I think that would have been good. Because uh, then maybe I would have had more carry presence. But yeah, but <laughs> clearly you can see who the star of the show was. You know, Shaco literally didn't do anything this game, but he didn't need to. Um, so yeah, annoying. But it's the way that it goes, unfortunately. So that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, throw a like on it. I'm going to try my best in the next two games. Maybe we'll play some champs that are like, you know, my champs, I guess. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. See ya. God damn.